Well, at first when I, I thought about this question, I thought, well, this is a hard question, but, but in fact, this is really a very, very straightforward question because it points up two very important values that I have and I, and I know that you have. On one hand, we have a readiness to embark upon a legal, necessary industry that can provide meaningful, family-supporting jobs. And on the other hand, a corresponding value, our unshakable commitment to our woods, our water, our northern way of life, a clean, healthy, and abundant environment. These two are not mutually exclusive. If there is anyone who can set a standard for responsible extraction of minerals in the north, it's us. The laws are in place and they are strict. The requirements are there and they must be met. The communities are ready to get involved and I'm sure the Klein Group will reach out to them. We have a lot of work to do and there's a long way to go. A lot of communication with state, federal, and tribal agencies. But the bottom line, it's up to the Klein Group. They've got to make sure that they can make money on this. There's a long way to go. I do not want us to be counting any chickens before they hatch. We cannot put all of our eggs in one basket. If we are so fortunate as to be able to safely and purely extract minerals, taconite, we, can, we should go forward with it. But we also have to remember we must diversify our, our economy. We cannot be totally dependent upon one industry. Thank you. Thank you, Janet Dewey. And next up with the same question, Cheryl Labar. The question, once again, with all the talk about potential mining in Ashland County, what is your position on mining in northern Wisconsin? I support the proposed open pit iron mine. I do this in northern Wisconsin. This will bring life-sustaining jobs. Generations of people living here will be able to stay here and work our kids and our grandkids. It could be anywhere from 750 to 1,500 jobs with great salaries and benefits. This area, it would be a huge, a huge thing to take on. Gogebic Taconite has assured me that it will definitely be eco-friendly and safe mining outfit and responsible. The possibility of new industry looking at Wisconsin with new jobs couldn't come at a better time. This eco-friendly and safe mining outfit, I believe, will be responsible stewards of the natural wildlife in the local environment, which we all care about. These are new jobs that will stay in Wisconsin. They will not be outsourced. The supporting industries, such as the two-year construction jobs that would begin right away, would be another avenue for jobs in the Northland. Our kids, grandkids, they can stay here with the families, which I think is huge. Right now, most of us, I was talking to some people out here today, their parents, they live in Ohio. They're 90. It's hard for them to get to them. It would be nice if we had our families in our own areas where we grew up with our kids and our grandkids around and we could see them. I have many friends that have to get on planes and go a long way to see their grandkids, once or twice a year, maybe. This would be great for Wisconsin. It would help turn the economy around. It would be great for the northern part of Wisconsin. It, it's huge. It's, to me, um, I don't want to put every egg in one basket either. I think we have to look at all industries. We have to make Wisconsin business friendly and that's what's going to do it, is streamlining those permitting processes. At this time, the um, open pit mine is like nine years out because of the permitting process and it costs $20 million. Now how many of us sitting out here can sit and go nine years, nine years? Now we all care about our environment, but we also care about jobs and I think there's a better way to do it. I think we need a voice in Madison that will open it up and say, nine years is way too long for a permitting process at $20 million, because it will not happen if that stays in effect. It's not going to happen. So I am, I am definitely for the open iron, uh, the open pit iron ore mine. Thank you very much, Cheryl Labar.